Good morning um, vlog of uh, Gumball. This is day one of the Gumball journey. Um, I'm just getting fuel. We're going to go and meet uh, Mr. JWW and DDE. Uh, I'm in the SVJ. That's the car I'm bringing for Gumball. Even though it breaks down a lot, I thought I'd bring it anyway. Uh, so it should be a pretty chill day. Um, we're just driving up to Scotland from London, which is going to be a pain. It's about eight hours. I'm going to keep you updated. Um, I don't know what else is going on. This is my favorite petrol station, Esso. Uh, the fuel is the best here. My car just seems to run really well on Esso. And um, yeah, I'm glad you guys can join me for this journey, but hopefully it should go pretty uh, pretty well and pretty smoothly. Vegan sausage roll to start the journey. I've met up at um, HRO and Service Center. We've got DDE's SVJ and we've got the Mercia Lago select cars come from Sweden and Mr. JWW in his M3. Yeah, we are in London uh, driving in our convoy right now. It's hot, there's a lot of traffic. We're using our clutches. Heat is just a nightmare, but yeah, we're making our way down to get a few cars or to get a center and then heading over to Scotland. Gonna stop and get some fuel. Get everyone ready, ready to go. Destroy my eardrums. How does it feel having a Gintani right next to your ear? Wait, what? What did you say? <laughs> bunker check it out all of his cars there we've got dds svj gentani exhaust this has made me say yes 100 percent. i'm getting a gentani exhaust it just sounds insane they also have a roof scoop on theirs which um <laughs> looks really cool what a livery on here what do you guys think of this i think this is fire got some really cool cars over here this pista is sexy i like that nice volkswagen over there the color on this gt4 rs is incredible i think this is a wrap yeah, that is a wrap, I think. And then the Senna, which he's picking up today to drive. Yeah. When I did that to the wheels, like, that doesn't make me happy. No, of course not. So before we continue our journey, I just want to show you the packing situation. We managed to get two people's uh, packing for three days worth of driving in there, which is cool, and a tire pump and some other bits and some shoes um, and some stuff behind the seat as well. So it is a practical GT touring car. Um, who would have thought it? SVJ, I think it could replace a Bentley Continental. The Senna is out now. I have actually been looking at Senna. Should I add one to add one to the collection? A nice little Senna. It looks cool outside in the lights. I think you really have to see this car in person to take in the color changes. This is gorgeous. The Gintani exhaust is so loud. I can hear it over the sound of my own car. You can still hear that car. That sounds insane. That sounds insane. The flame tune does a madness as well. in the SVJ in a few weeks um, it's nice to get out in it and do like a long journey I haven't done one in a while just because it's not my, my go-to car um, but on this occasion I thought what's more ridiculous than an Aventador SVJ driving to Scotland and doing the gumball so yeah I could have taken the SF90 could have taken the 812 they would have been more sensible choices but this is just ridiculous and I'm in a ridiculous mood and gumball is just ridiculousness the question is how's your back feeling after the first couple of hours after the first couple of hours, my back's actually feeling all right. Uh, the only thing that doesn't feel good is my bladder because the car bounces so much because of the firm suspension, but yeah, it could be worse. <laughs> so basically, we're at the toll services and I think everyone knows what's going to happen, but no one's really said anything yet. Everyone just keeps smiling at each other. So it looks like it's going to be a launch control fiesta. Uh. Uh. Get out of 
Vega, bro. Vega. They let me launch. Of the um, forged alloys on here, they're um, custom made by this company, Select Cars. Um, they really suit the car, really, really suit the car. So we've parked up at, I don't even know what service is this. I don't even know what, Staffordshire? Staffordshire, Staffordshire. I don't know where we are. I don't know how north we are. Very random. But it's get, you can tell it's getting cooler and cooler the more north we go. But yeah, trying to get some food. <laughs> are you vlogging right now? Yes, I'm it's vlogging. It's a vlog So I don't exactly know where we are, somewhere near Scotland. We pulled over because we needed the bathroom. I'm getting bitten by some insects and my allergies have suddenly gone haywire. So yeah, Scotland's great. <laughs> uh, we have about two hours left. Uh, Senna, uh, uh, what's that car called again? <laughs> M3 Touring looks great. Most of is doing well. This car's having some issues. Uh, it's going into neutral at high speed, which isn't the safest thing, but um, hopefully it fixes itself. So um, my uh, splitter rubber thing broke, so I'm just taping it back on. Hopefully it will hold all the way back to London. There's going to be so much um, wind resistance on it. And this is better than taking gear out of your splitter. <laughs> Shout out to my friend Adrian. have arrived in Scotland. We are picking up uh, the two Koenig's eggs. Um, that was a fun little drive. Scottish roads are immaculate, I must say. Um, the Gintani uh, SVJ uh, has um, some flames that are very long. So my Gintani um, fetish has begun. Um, this is nice. This is the actual color. And then this is the color of the wrap. But yeah, we're picking up the Koenig's eggs in there. And then we're gonna head to the car park Imagine to get the cars um, decaled up and cleaned, I think. Yeah. But yeah, it was a fun little drive. Um, and um, we disturbed the whole of Edinburgh by parking in front of Rolls Royce. We have the Koenig's eggs now. They're like transforming by themselves. The doors are ro robotized. That is incredible. That is, now nah, that is so cool. Pointless, but cool. Koenig's egg pulling out of Rolls Royce. Often do you see a lineup like this? We've got a Koenigsegg and a Huayra. What do you think? That's ridiculous. <laughs> I barely got on it. I was like, it sounded insane. It sounded insane. Huayra looks gorgeous with the doors open. And then um, we have the M3 Touring being the camera car, but it's a nice little selection here. Koenigsegg door sensor, go. So um, this guy has caught, these two have caused chaos here by um, parking at least 10 million in cars on this street in front of a hotel. Just left the hotel, it was chaos, so much chaos, I couldn't even record. We're going now with the hyper cars, we're going to park our cars in the car park, get them nice and stick it up. And then from there, we are heading back to our hotel, we're not staying in the same hotel because we are paupers. Peasants, no, because we're so last minute, uh, we uh, oh, oh, kind of messed up. Send it into what? Into that? <laughs> I charge 10 pounds per rev. <laughs> oh, what's your name? Mikey. Mikey, nice to meet you. Tommy, man. Two SVJs, two Koenig's eggs, Pagani. It's a little vibe. <laughs> Best way to describe it, it just sounds like talk. Yeah. It literally just sounds like talk. Where are we going from? <laughs> you, you got room on my side. If they can do it, I can do it. 
<laughs> that is tight, man. So yeah, we've just come, we've arrived, we're at the car park where all the cars are being kept. As you can see, here are all the gumball cars. Brand new GT3 RS in the corner. First one I've seen, massive wing. Makes the GT3 wing look very subdued. But yeah, this should be a fun time. I think this is some of the cars, not all of the cars. Um, I'm tired. We still have a lot more stuff to do. So um, yeah, on, on route to the hotel. But that was a fun, fun day one, I would say.